What's up YouTube? It's Mike here back with another video. If you haven't already, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell for notifications, and if you like the video, please like the video. So I've mentioned a bunch of times that I want to redo the lighting on this tank. I used LED submersible light strips that I mounted above on the center braces and in the front and in the back. I used five total and three of the five I used have uh, mostly blue lights. So even though the tank epoxy color is gray, the tank comes across blue because of those blue lights. It also makes the tank look a lot darker than I'd like it. So I've said it a bunch of times, especially uh, when I did the substrate, that I wanted to replace those three blue lights with the white ones. So that's what we are going to do today. So you can kind of see, although the focus is not so good, um, what I did here, I have the white ones in the back there, you can see it there, and then I've got a big uh, white one in the front, but these three have mostly blue lights, or every other is blue, and you can't change them. So I bought three more strips that are just the white ones, just like the front and back. Hopefully that's gonna brighten this tank up a lot. Now I don't hate this, and I really do like the lighting. I like that there's nothing hanging over the tank, there's nothing sitting on top of the tank, makes getting uh, into the tank to do whatever I need to do super easy, and the cord management ended up pretty decent too. You barely see the cords there. So um, I like the system, I don't wanna change it. And hold on, everybody tells me they want to see me pet the cat, so we're gonna pet the cat. Petting is just randomly petting. Most people will go mid-back. Eh. This is Domino. She is, I think, like 15 years old now. Close to it. Not 15, maybe 14. So she's getting to be old. But she's very loving. Anyone who comes to visit, she is all over them. So you gotta like cats if you come here. Who's the best cat in the United States? It's you, Champer Damper. It's you. She's a good cat. She lives in the basement for the most part, though, because she is afraid of the dogs. She doesn't have to be afraid of the dogs. She just can't get along with them, so. Hello, kitty. She loves the attention. So, anyway, back to this. We're going to replace these lights. So, check it out. Our little long-nosed friend here that we just got is doing really well and he has been eating really well. So far he's eaten tilapia for me. Um, he tried to eat some krill, but then he spit it out. But regardless, he eats tilapia, so I'm happy with that. Actually, um, the only thing that hasn't eaten is that silver arowana, and I'm not surprised. Uh, sometimes after a big move like that, they take a while, they go on a hunger strike. So anyway, I figured I would do a quick update on that guy, so you guys can see he is doing really well. I'm gonna give him another week or so in quarantine, and then I'm gonna move him over to the 1500. Back to this, these lights are really cheap, so I got three replacement ones. They come with remotes, but I got three for 75 bucks, so they're about 25 bucks each, and that's all those bluish ones were anyway. They were only about 25 bucks each. I'm gonna reuse those blue ones for the 600. And I think it'll work much better on the 600 for a lot of reasons, but one, it's a lot shallower. This is only 30 inches uh, tall, and this is uh, 53 inches tall and 42 inches of water. So I think those blue ones will penetrate the water much better on the 600. It'll be a nice clean look as well. But that's another project for another day. For now, let's just replace these. It should be pretty easy to replace them. Also, I'll put the link down in the description to these exact lights. So if you like them, you can go grab them. Like I said, they're really cheap. I don't know how long they'll last. I have one on the front window, which you're never going to see. I do have one of those on the front window of this tank as well. And uh, it's been going almost two years without any issues. So I guess they... They do kind of last anyway, but they are by far uh, not a good quality light, I'm sure. I did it because they were cheap and I wanted to be able to mount them inside the tank, so being fully submersible was a good thing. Even though they are not fully submersed, 
uh, they're constantly wet from the humidity and splashing. So uh, it was important for them to be completely waterproof. So here is one out of the package. Uh, like I said, it comes with a remote and then you get your uh, power adapter and a little switch here. And they come with three suction cups. So for the 1500, what I did was I took these suction cups and I screwed them to the top of the tank and then siliconed um, in the screw hole and on the screw heads. So I don't risk any moisture getting in or out of the screw hole or rusting the screws or anything like that. So they are permanently screwed up. So I'm not gonna use these right now. I'm just going to pop the other ones out and then pop these ones into place. So pretty simple. They have multiple color settings, which I find that the other colors are very, very dull and useless. So I just use the white setting. But hey, if you ever want to change the colors, you could do some kind of nighttime thing. Um, it is kind of cool still. It's a cool option to have. Well, as it stands right now, I've replaced the right side and the middle, and it's worse in a lot of ways. Like, it is whiter, but it's not brighter, and um, this one is off altogether, so maybe it's a bad representation, but I can already tell that it's not bright enough for me, so I'm gonna take a different approach, and I'm gonna try using all of them instead. So I'm gonna use the blue ones again, strap them together, and try to run six, on the middle braces and then the two in the uh, middle there, the front and the back. So we'll be running a total of eight lights on it. We'll see how that looks. Until I figure out a better solution, I decided to zip tie the old one, which is the one that's running right now, with the new one. And uh, just gonna zip tie them together, so now we got two of them. So it's adding light instead of swapping lights. Uh, I don't think it is the ideal solution. It's not what I wanted in the end, but it's what I gotta do, at least for now. Eh. Ah. All right, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a slight improvement. Not what I was hoping for, but it is better than nothing, so I guess I'll take it. Um, it's a big mess of wires now because there's just so many things plugged in. So that's a pain and I absolutely hate it. I can still turn them all off and on with uh, my wireless uh, Bluetooth connection. So I can turn them all off at once and whatnot from the phone. So that's good, but it's still a big mess of wires back there just for a very small improvement. The perks to it are there's nothing hanging over the tank. There's nothing on top of the tank. There's nothing that really gets in your way kind of gives for a nice clean look on the top but the downside is they are not very bright <laughs> and apparently I'm not very bright either I'm not a smart man because I just did not get the correct lighting for the solution they're supposed to be the same but then if you really look at them they're they're different now you're not gonna be able to see it on video but if you really look at them, they are not the same LEDs as the front and back, and they're supposed to be, so very confusing. I guess the smaller version just is not the same LEDs? I don't know. It is a foot, they're a foot shorter than the one on the front and the back, so maybe that's the issue here, but. Uh, everything still looks pretty good, although I scared them a little bit. See, she's looking pretty awesome. Um, all the GAR are doing great and have colored up really nicely. Uh, this hybrid has colored up really nicely. Oh, 
so everything looks pretty good but I did scare this little guy he was buried in the sand for a while but hey it's something it's a slight improvement maybe temporary until I find another solution it just sucks because that was kind of a lot of work and a lot of work for very little give back but it is brighter so I shouldn't complain but hopefully the before and afters will show the improvement and maybe it's more of an improvement than I really know because right now it's hard for me to tell without looking at before and after pictures. Well guys, you know, not a complete fail, but not a complete success on this one. I'll keep looking for uh, new solutions. If you guys have any lighting ideas, submersible lighting ideas, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. If you haven't noticed already, I've been posting twice a week now for the past few weeks. I usually was every Wednesday and I was trying to be consistent with that. I was consistent with every Wednesday for close to a year now and I decided to start throwing in some extra videos when I can so no promises but what it looks like I'll be doing or trying to do is every Wednesday still but then put out another video during the weekend so maybe uh, Friday or on Saturday or Sunday I think ideally I'm gonna try for Wednesdays and Saturdays so be on the lookout for those second videos and again it's just updates and whatnot uh, but I hope you guys enjoy them. If you enjoy the two uploads a week, please let me know also in the comments below. Um, I appreciate the feedback. It would seem like if I've got the content, I figured I'd put it out. So I've been busy down here and uh, new fish coming in and out and projects constantly. So the 600 will be coming along shortly. I just got to uh, get my butt in gear and finish framing that wall back there still. But that is it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.